Hello Commanders, and welcome to my first narrated Elite Dangerous video. I'm Commander Gadnock, and today we'll be visiting a destination I've been excited to see since it was discovered. An ancient battlefield of the Guardian and Thargoid War. Since the launch of Odyssey, and arriving back to inhabited space, I've been following the recent storylines via Galnet. But like a lot of other commanders, I've always been intrigued by the mysterious alien races in the Elite Universe. One, revered by humanity as the Guardians, an extinct civilization who thrived technologically millions of years ago, and the other being the Thargoids, an aggressive bug-like race thought to be older than both the Guardians and humans combined, and whose purpose is unknown as they still inhabit nearby space today. I wanted to get a closer look into the history of the Guardian and Thargoid races, and how their conflict escalated, ended, and left a distant moon bearing the remains of two different alien civilizations. Now that's actually three if you count the surviving human crew of the Hesperus, the Azimuth Biochemicals megaship, who would spend their final days examining and experimenting with the newly discovered structures and wreckage. Let's take a glimpse into their stories while we explore this historically salient moon. A small warning before moving on that this video contains spoilers from the Azimuth Saga for any who haven't done this themselves. This battlefield is located on Trapezium Sector YU-X C1-2 Moon 1A. My first stop was to the Guardian Ruins. This area contains mostly obelisks that glow to be scanned for data. I arrived when it was dark so the atmosphere was pretty spooky. To better understand what you're seeing, I'll give a little bit of background story while the footage plays out. The entire alien conflict took place millions of years ago, and actually prompted the logarithmic evolution of the Guardians through technology, ultimately leading to their downfall. It was started as a territorial dispute between two advanced races, and had the Thargoids not interrupted the Guardians' evolution, who knows what they could have become. We know from experience that Thargoids claim ownership of territory by seeding the ground with barnacles. They then return a long time after to harvest the meta-alloys from these barnacles, helping build their advanced organic technologies. Any species found intruding on the planets and moons upon their return are treated as hostiles and attacked without mercy. This is what happened to the Guardians on this moon and began the ancient war. As you can see, the Guardians built structures on this moon during their expansion as a space-faring race. When attacked by the Thargoids, they initially retreated, to later move from armies of foot soldiers to autonomous war machines that would fight in their places. However successful this campaign was at driving off the Thargoids, forcing them to retreat, the Guardians' machine technology would later go full Skynet, exterminating them all. Jump to present day, in 3307, and what remains of their species are advanced active structures containing hostile sentinels. The structures can be activated and lead to harvesting a Guardian Module Blueprint, used to unlock Guardian Modules at appropriate technology brokers. While I did farm some mats while I was here, and destroy some sentinels for components, sadly this structure seems to require an ancient key to unlock the blueprint and not the ancient relics found throughout. The keys can be found at the Guardian structures in space, but there aren't any around for many many light years in all directions. What was really cool was to jump out on foot once the coast was clear. Next, I followed the signal that would lead to the Proteus, the anaconda used by Azimuth personnel to flee the Hesperus when it was hijacked by rival company Pharmasapiens sleeper agents. The Proteus was piloted by Lieutenant Hugo Kellerman and contained Doctors Ackerman, Farrell, and Zoo as they escaped and located the battlefield on the distant moon. 
They would turn the ship into a makeshift research facility to study the alien tech while awaiting unlikely rescue. But the logs found at the site reveal that an experiment involving a guardian artifact went horribly wrong, unleashing a surge of radiation that killed everyone there on September 26, 3113. The research site is particularly eerie to explore, so I'll let some game footage play out for you to enjoy. A huge nod goes to the Frontier sound design team for, again, stunning work. It's stories like these that make it very easy for an imaginative mind to picture a vicious battle taking place on the ground below, millions of years in the past. Humanity is not so unique in its conquest full of bloodshed, for it is highly likely that when two species meet away from their home worlds, the result will be violent, in an instinctual effort to assert dominance and prolong their survival. We know the Guardians attempted to communicate with the Thargoids and offer peace, once they finally deciphered their language. But the Thargoid's hive mind continued the assault on their perceived enemies. This moon is littered with five crashed Thargoid ships, like this one, destroyed by the very machines they prompted. Their organic makeup and apparent slime covering the vessels reminds a human explorer what these bugs are capable of. I say again that their intentions are unknown, because they could easily wipe us out at any given moment, but instead choose to research us and conduct small battles. I can certainly say I was waiting for a Thargoid ship to spawn above me and freak me out, but alas, they left me alone. What is left of the Guardians may only be machinery, but the Thargoids remain a very real threat to humanity's expansion. I can hope like many other commanders for on-foot Thargoid combat, and even to see one in the flesh for the first time in Elite's history. Being situated in our real home galaxy, Elite is capable to connect with its players on a deep philosophical level. The story Frontier created is rich, and requires one to forge their own path within the galaxy. I really hope the story continues to evolve and bring us along with it on this strange and unique odyssey. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you've enjoyed the first of many Xeno Chronicles. Please drop me a comment and sub for more Elite Dangerous Odyssey content. 07 Commanders. Thank you.